Hello, welcome back to episode six on project Low Cost MX5. So I'll show you on the uh, where I'm at so far. So as you can see, I've got the passenger side floor area in now. Um, this this bar here doesn't have a kink in it, like you can quite see it like this one does. Um, because I don't, there's more room on this side, it's wider, so I don't need to worry too much about the seat. So it's just easier to put a straight bar straight in to here. Um, replaced that one, the two seat rails, and they're all um, f sort of fully welded in there now. And I've added this, I was going to put a box section, but I thought I'll add a flat bar, it'll take up less, less ground clearance. So, um, so yeah, so today I'll be, as you can see, all here is sort of welded and stuff now. So the plan for today is just to clean all this up. Um, same as I have done with, with sort of all this, this area. Get the, um, sanding thing. Bought some more of these, just, just cheap ones. that will do the job. I think there's 60 grit, I think. So I'll get one of them on the grinder. Clear all this surface rust off. And give everything here um, the same, the same grey undercoat as I've got on that bit. So clean all, sort of at least this surface and this surface, and then I will be turning the car, as you can see it like that, over, so it's as it would be on on the floor. This area I will be finishing at a later date, um, but I'm just concentrating on this this sort of area floor area and the back that's my next bit i'll do because uh, obviously the floor area and the subframe mount so is done now so um then i'll work around to the back finish welding all these bits in get some um some diagonals in there or corner plates or whatever and a couple of bars across to support the fuel tank which i still need to sort out uh, but then i'll come back to here because I need to f work out, once I've got the subframe stuff back in, where the anti-roll bar um, bushes, mounts, will be in this area. I think they'll hopefully just be quite close to this. So yeah, I'll, uh, I'll leave it on there. I'll cut back in once I've sanded that area. Right, so that's all the frame there now. Ground down, cleaned up. Ready for a cut of undercoat. So I'll be using this general light brush treatment, um, basically brush on to places like in, in the corners there, which I can't quite get to with the sanding thing, um, places where there's a little bit of pitting, look along here, just uh, give it a good wipe over with that, leave it half an hour, three quarters of an hour, so I'll go and have a cup of tea. Come back, wipe it off, leave it a little bit just to just to dry, and then I'll uh, give it a coat of paint. So yeah, so that's uh, that's the process. Right, so that's the, uh, the rust treatment stuff on. You can see it there's like a pinky goo. Just uh, just to try and help with a little bit, we just like little areas like like in there where I can't quite clean, so it'll turn black. As it has done in uh, a few areas, like like there, there's just a little rash of brown there. So it's, uh, it's turned black now, so I'll give it all the uh, wipe down with the cloth, leave it to dry, and get the uh, get the undercoat on there. So that's that uh, undercoat on there now, as you can see. So all underneath the car now, it's all undercoated. So I'll um. We'll have a cup of tea now, we'll leave that to dry, and then I'll um, flip the car over, put it so it's flat as it would be on the road. Um, got a little bit of welding to do on the back of these two, I think it is, possibly the other one around there as well. Um, I'll do all that welding, clean all that up, and then um, basically do the same on the other side, clean everything down, and give it a coat and a coat. Uh, I'll also spin spin the car around so the the back ends over over here so I can start on the uh, start on the back end which is the next stage.
just the right way up. A better idea of what the floor looks like. So these are the two sheet rails, support bar there, the flat bar in the middle. So all these are all welded now. Um, the only places I've got left, just finish finish welding on that one. Finish welding on that one, all the bottom ones are done. Need to, done that one. Need to just do around this one. Do around this area and just cap that off. Um, like if you, if you follow me on Instagram, at underscore igamogam, then you'll have seen um, the cap that I did on that one. So yeah, feel free to follow me on that. I do put the old picture up. So, uh, so yeah, so what I'll do now is I'll get all these bits welded up. Not that much. And then um, it's just a case of sand down this, this area and paint it exactly the same as I did underneath. So I won't bother, won't bother recording that. So, so yeah. So I'll end this one there. So this is the uh, project's coming along, starting to come along nicely now. Looks a lot better once it's uh, had its first coat of paint. So, um, so yeah, hopefully you uh, like this video. If you wouldn't mind giving it a thumbs up. And uh, if you like the channel, please subscribe. Thank you.